Okay, let's use our calculator to solve this system. In this case, we'll be using the system with three equations and three unknowns. So let's enter the augmented matrix into our TI-84 calculator. To do that, we'll hit second matrix, scroll over to edit, and then enter the corresponding information in. Then we'll be sure to check our matrix, making sure that the numbers are correct. I'm going to check it against going down the columns. 1, 2, 1, 0, 1, negative 1, 3, 6, 3, 2, 9, 1. So let's exit the matrix edit menu, second quit. Now remember to put the matrix into reduced row echelon form. We'll go second matrix, over to math, and scroll through until we hit R, R, E, F. Now we have to tell it which matrix to put into reduced row echelon form. So we hit second matrix. We'll leave it on names and select the first matrix, which is matrix A. Close my parentheses and press enter. Now you'll notice this particular matrix is in reduced row echelon form, but we do have a problem in that last row. Let's go ahead and copy this matrix into our notes, and then we can make a note of what the result is. All right, so here's our augmented matrix. Normally, we'd be able to pull out the identity matrix here and identify the solution from that. But notice we don't quite have the identity matrix. On top of that, this last row gives us kind of an inconsistency. And we can see that if we try to write out the system from this matrix. It would say x plus 3z equals 0, y equals 0, no problem yet. The very last row, though, tells me 0 equals 1. That's a problem. 0 is not equal to 1. In fact, this right here is a quick indication that this is a system that has no solution. That's exactly what we'll need to see written for the answer. If we had to describe the system, we could say it's inconsistent because it does not have at least one solution, and it is independent because it has at most one solution. It doesn't have any more than one solution.